undress for me. Remove all articles of poetic assumption and now listen to me with naked ears. I refuse to call you beautiful, for I feel it's almost deceitful to label you as something you already know you are. Maybe you're something like the color blue, the visible form of beauty physically and emotionally wrapped in two, I mean, one. I cannot imagine the essence of the color as God made a way to separate the cerulean from the oceans on the second day. Maybe he was thinking about you. Maybe Miles was too naming a whole album after you. Maybe you're the tears my pen cries every time it glides across blue lines telling cursive stories of pain and joy. This way when lowercase eyes run, you can still dot them. Undress for me. Bear your mind to me so that the transparency of my words may sound clear. Much like the water that passes through your lips to replenish your temple. And although most would go great lengths for the size and strength of something so simple, I can only envy the fact that every day it touches your lips. And if our eyes are the windows to the soul, then maybe our lips are the doors. For that which is not sacred should not enter the house of the Lord. Maybe that is why we bless our food before we eat it. Maybe that is why we close our eyes when we kiss our lovers. Open doors, closed windows. Entering the heart and soul where there are no exit signs. Entering the mind, then the body. Because I want to make sure I'm actually into you before I am into you. And if a child can wait nine months for a woman to allow it to slide past the thighs, so can I. Longer if need be. Undress for me. Strip down to the thoughts in the back of your mind. I want to do more than kiss the back of your neck. I want to whisper to your cerebellum so I can tell you that you are the queen of the second light that shines during the nighttime. With a beauty far beyond sublime, your eyes are the full moon's phase that causes an absence of direction whenever I stare into your gaze. Or could it be the half moon of your smile? Or maybe the five quarter moons that you keep on each finger as if God gave you your own French manicure in the sky, where a man must fly just so he can kiss the back of your hand. And I'm feeling light as a feather. Or the number of feathers it takes to caress an angel's wing, may I be one of your feathers? Forever in your presence, for you are where heaven is. Tiptoeing on the sun like a flame dancing so vigorous, but unlike Icarus, you are too fly to fall. Undress for me. Take off the influence of others. Unbutton your insecurities and leave them on the floor, for they're only see-through garments of what you wish to be, rather than the pure essence which lies underneath. Much like the raw passion that lies behind the majestic beauty of a leopard's rosettes, you are the strawberry that hides behind a chocolate veal. Sweet on the outside, but still that much more deserving on the inside. And I'm willing to explore the horizon of your mind and all its outline in due time. But for now, just undress for me.